Hello, guys. Are we live? <laughs> Let us know if you can see us. I see a chat coming up on my end. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Scott and Liz from King Queen Cichlids. It's Sunday live Woo! at 8 o'clock. Guess what? What? I got a new toy. Oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> We're live. <Woo! laughs> How oh. you like that new little gadget I got, guys? <laughs> Check that out. So I see Rob93 in the house, mm -hmm. Dan Slee, Multi Tank Addiction, Don uh, Gallagher, Mr. B's in the house. Brandon, thank you so much for being here, buddy. What you got? You got the same thing I got, right? Yes, sir. I mean, we are on the same live feed. <laughs> Keep on going. Keep on going. You just said what I did. Denny's see. Fish. Uh, Tim Buck Aquaponics. House of Buckets. I got 20 people online. I see 13 likes. And Mrs. And Mrs. B and Mr. B. With that said. Cody Sin, Mob Guppy. Happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. No better mom than mine, but <laughs> I, I love that woman. But let's get started. So please hit that like button on your Thank way you, in or, or your way out. Uh, consider subscribing to us. Uh, I, I don't recommend you just hitting the subscribe button. Check out our library. Check out our videos and see if it's something that you'd like. And uh, if you do, hit the subscribe button. We want to say hi to all our fishy friends, YouTube Notification Squad, Green Team Alliance, uh, all our friends out there, all our family. Thank you so much for being here with us on Mother's Day. All right. So Morgan Grace, hello. She is new. She says she loves your toy, and she's new and happy <laughs> to be here. Tom Galuli, thank you very much. Don Gooman, hello. Chewy LTD, Sean Little, Friday Fishbacks. That is awesome. Tangs and Tanks, new sub. The fish tank barn. Fish tank barn. I, I cannot. The fish tank barn. I love your video on that review on the filters. That was great. I wouldn't even have. He did a, a review of two different filters. Uh -huh. And in part of the review, he actually tested out the suction cups. And oh. I, I wouldn't have even thought to do that. So great job on that. <laughs> oh my God. We're going live and my dogs are fighting. Well, no, I think the cat scratched him. <laughs> now he's hiding underneath. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. It's always live in this house. So, you got him? Yeah. One second, guys. We got a dog in, in danger. In distress. Come here, Rico. <laughs> See, that's what Rico gets. All right, guys. Uh, oh, what's up, Punchy? Denny's Fish Room. Bob's in the house. You okay, Rico? That's okay. Bro. Oh, He's poor so thing. Shaken. <laughs> Some days him and the cat are best friends, and other days they're not yeah, the best. Yeah, you bestest. smell fishy. Were you down there eating food? Well, I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, guys, I want to uh, recognize my mods. Uh, Candy is not here. Obviously, it's Mother's Day, and we certainly appreciate that she's going to take the day off. She is the best mod yep. in the world, and God knows she deserves a day off. Michael from Michael's Fish Room is doing something with his family, so he won't be here either. But Brandon's in the house, Mr. B's fishing things. Brandon, I haven't seen a video from you in three weeks, so uh -oh. I, every week I look to see if there's a new video coming out. But what you're doing for fish tubers and YouTube notification is amazing. You're always out there promoting everyone, sharing their links, and we appreciate that, brother. Uh, from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate the work you're doing. A lot of people talk about it, but you're actually doing the work, Brandon. So thank you so much. Funk, Aqua Funk is in the house. Mm -hmm. He just did a live feed of six. That was <laughs> incredibly funny as always. He's got a beautiful girl. I'm not sure if they're married or not. So Funk, let me know. I'm not, I don't want to <laughs> miss say something, but uh, we all talked about our mothers and Mother's Day. So it was a great feed. Yeah. He also just did a video on Catfish, do they eat poop? <laughs> <laughs> and how is this scientifically figured out? I, I don't know, Funk. If you want to talk about your video and, and oh did cat, if you came up with the catfish fish eat poop or not, go ahead and share it with the uh, with our audience. Put your link up there. And hopefully my boy Rob93, there he is. I see mm -hmm. him, is in the house. He just did a video on 
uh, his move, he's packing stuff up, right. putting them in tubs. It's a really good video about how to move fish, how to do a, a move to another area, uh, how to break down your aquariums, all that good stuff. So great right. job with that, Rob, 93 Aquatics. Do you have anything you wanted to say? Uh, Susie Q. What's up, Susie Q? 54 Punchy, Carol's, um, Kaler's Aquatics, 808 Tank. I've been trying to keep up. Fishy Biz Aquatics. Well, last, listen, guys, I am very particular. I, I am particular? very picky, picky, picky. Yeah. And I felt right. like last live feed, we were missing a bunch of stuff. So, and we were trying to do stuff with phones. Now we both have computers up here. We're kind of trying to watch the live feed as it goes on so right. we can interact and, and answer your questions. If you have, what's up, House of Buckets, Ange, Darius? Uh, if you have questions for us, if you can highlight it so it, we know to shout it out while we're talking, definitely highlight your questions. Um, all right. Yeah. So before we go much further, as we always say, we're going to be talking about adult stuff. It's probably going to be PG-17, maybe a little more. We're going to have alcoholic beverages. So if that's something that you don't want to be around or you don't want your kids to be around, Feel free to put them away. I like to say put them away. <laughs> Store <laughs> them for later. <laughs> because it's not going to be outrageous, but we will be talking about some stuff from time to time, jokingly, and we just don't want to offend anyone. So this is the opportunity mm -hmm. to put your kids away because it's going to be at least PG-17. The next thing we want you to do is tell us what you had today as far as your food, snacks. You know, did you take your mother out to eat? Those of us who are still blessed to have our mothers here. Uh, did you do something special for your wife? I got my baby a, a ring. You have, you have your ring on? I do on? have my ring on. Yeah. I got a ring. I've got a tennis bracelet. And I got a card. And I got a weekend away. Cool, cool. Yeah, we went to Bucks County Aquarium Society, their spring auction. We'll be talking about that as well. And my guy, Multi Tanks Addiction, is in the house. Chris is in the house. Uh, I checked his live feed for the mm -hmm. first time. And absolutely fell in love with him and his channel because he does artwork live. He fell in love with a lot of men. <laughs> he does artwork live. And while he's doing his artwork, he actually chats. It's really, really a different live feed that I, I enjoyed. Uh, I got so tickled with it that I went to his website and I ordered some artwork. And we're going to uh, open it up today. All right. So Aquafunk just came back. 41 um, people watching. I got 27 likes. So please hit that like button. Tom, I did not use the maple syrup this morning because <laughs> uh, obviously we didn't get back home till this afternoon. Mm. Um, there was another question up here. Um, 2 ELTD says he's got a monster fish for you to go in this tank behind us. Oh, my God. I got to stop you. KG Tropicals is in the house. That is huge for me. KG Tropicals, I don't know if it's John or if it's Lisa, but thank you so much for joining in. It is because of you, John and Lisa, that we have been absolutely on fire. Right. In the last five. five days, we've gotten over 200 subscribers. The latest video I put out on Dovi Cichlids just hit 4,300 views in two days. In two days. So I can't help but attribute that to the collaboration that I was able to do with KG Tropicals. And uh, again, thank you so much. I appreciate you know, you're reaching out to a smaller channel and giving a smaller channel a chance. So thank you. So I did see somebody ask about what the word of the day is. My sister is not on today. She got the kids to settle down and be quiet and somewhere in the house. So she's not telling them anything. She's just resting and relaxing for Mother's it's Day. It's Mother's Day. I get yep. it. Uh, do me a favor. We need to shout out the wine of the day, please. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, sorry, I was reading and no problem. All right, so Fruit Divine. This is a apple wine that I picked up last summer when I was in Virginia, and I chose this wine tonight because I'm actually going to Virginia here on the 26th. So I will Star. not be in the live feed. Scott will have to do it by himself. Oh, I'll have a guest in here. Somebody will. Maybe oh, Chris. Lord. <laughs> maybe Chris Mascow will come over. Uh, we'll, we'll Mike come will probably up. spend the night here. The whole week. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them not to mess up my side of the bed. That's too funny. So, again, we have our wine. Guys, let yep. us know what you're eating and drinking out there. I do want to shout out. Do I have a moment to shout out to some other channels? <laughs> <laughs> what you got? Tanks and Tanks. He said, ha ha. So, Scott now likes art. I remember you sticking your nose up when Liz bought art for $4 at the auction. <laughs> 
Who is that? Oh, so, and tanks. so you were at Bucks County. You, yep. Did you introduce yourself? There were so many people out there, and I got a couple of people that messaged me when I got home today saying, hey, I saw you, but I didn't get a chance to say hi. Yeah. Well, you were busy. Let me. Well, let me <laughs> apologize because when we come in there, we do know a lot. Of, it's not because I'm popular on YouTube or anything like that. I've been in the, it's not, it's because I've been in the hobby a long time in this Northeast area. So I know a lot of people and we just right. have a blast. So. All right. So Morgan Grace got her grandmother. I got my grandmother's a green tiger barb tank for mother's day. That's awesome. Um, and then. Um, the green tear keeper. I'm eating gushers and drinking juice. <laughs> Don cool. Gallagher is making spaghetti for his wife for mother's day. Oh, nice. Select pets, y'all are celebrities. We are not. We are not celebrities at all. We have a good time. We try. You know, we're honest. You know, good people, and uh, we try to do unto others as they do unto us. So whether that be good or bad. <laughs> Sickless twenty three, my guppy. I mean, it's, thank you so much, guys, for being in the house. Forty four watching, thirty three likes. Please hit that like up. Now, if I have a spot, I try to do this every time, and you can just touch me or stop me if you need to say something. Mm -hmm. But there are a few channels, you know, and, and it, this is perfect with having KG Tropicals online. There are some channels, and I try to shout out smaller channels all the time to give them some love, get some attention, and get their subs up. My boy, Fishy Biz Aquatics, he's at 261 uh, subscribers. Please hit him up. Mods, if you're out there, if you can get a link out there so people can go check him out. Check him out. He just did a video called Fry Guy Episode 3. Great video. He's an African cichlid keeper. Definitely check him out. Also want to shout out to Crystal Pets. She has 337 subscribers. She just did a video today about uh, happy, uh, like it was like a happy Mother's mm -hmm. Day video. Really enjoyed it. Definitely check her out. And then I got to talk about, well, KG Trock was in the house. I got to talk about my girl, Susie Q Aquatics. She just did a collab with uh, KG Tropicals as well. It was right. very well done, Susie. I don't know if you're online or not, but she you is. definitely want to check Susie out. She has 891 subscribers. She's so close to a thousand. I think now that she's gonna, she's got this video out with KG Tropicals. She's gonna hit that thousand subscriber really, really soon. She's a great gal. I got to sit down and spend some time with her at the Bucks County Aquarium Society. I got to interview her, so I can't wait to put that interview in one of my videos coming up. But just a great girl. She just did a video about an emergency she had with her 120-gallon tank Yikes. where their sump got something stuck up and it started. Oh it didn't God. have any water in the sump and it was making this crazy noise. That's nice. All right. And then there's one other person I want to oh. shout out. That is Chris from Multi Tanks Addiction. I just talked about him a little bit. Mm -hmm. 535 subscribers. He just did a video called Monster Size Nano Tanks. I <laughs> love that topic. Monster Size Nano Tanks. I love that. Again, this guy does is, is an artist. He does live feeds while he does artwork. And unless you're gonna unless you see something you want me to read, I'm gonna open up some of his artwork. I did. I have uh, I'm big in, uh, I'm sorry, Friday Fish Facts says he's big into wine and his providence, and I'm gonna butcher this, Okanot, Okajan. Anyways, send me a link to any <laughs> kind of good wines and I can look it up and uh, most I think Pennsylvania's allowed to get wine shipped in. So I can always do it that way. I'm always looking for something new and, and good. Ron's got a big interview coming up with Jimmy Swiss Swisky, one of my for the guy from Aquarium Co-op. One of my I look up to him because of his ability to put on cinematic videos. His right. his artistic eye is is great, and I strive to be that good. So I can't wait to see that live feed, Ron. If you can, someone put up the link to his channel so we all can be ready for that that uh, live feed coming up. I have had ice wine. I love ice wine. Green Terror Keeper. That is good stuff. Uh, but again, I'm always looking to try new Ice wine? New so flavors. tell me, what is ice wine? What is I can't explain it. You can't explain it? No. Green Terror, if you can explain it, explain it to me. Ta uh, tanks in Tanks made my mama some banging bone and pork chops, roasted potatoes, and mixed veggies. Oh my God! You should have come over here and cooked. Well, and I think it was Fishy Biz Aquatics a little while in the chat ago laid out an entire like Thanksgiving dinner looking like a food with gravies, and it was I was stuffed wow. over it. Wine poured over ice. Thank you. That's Legacy enough. Aquatics. What is <laughs> up, Melvin? Hope you're doing well. Fifty-three people on. Thirty-seven likes. 
Let's get them likes up, please. Chewy LDT, how do we not shout you out? Did you shout them out? Yes. Okay, sorry, Chewy. Just wanted to make sure you shouted out, buddy. You're one of our biggest supporters. And, I, you know, as I say, I always love your comments. So, can I open up one of these? Hey, Crystal. Hey, Crystal. We just shouted you out. I hope you heard it. But we just talked about your channel, and, and hopefully people will come visit you and sub up to you. And check out that wonderful Happy Mother's Day video right. you did. Big D Smoke, Chef Patrick Pepper, Ice Wine is worth the extra money. I agree. <laughs> Ace Dog 2000, Legacy Aquatics. Go ahead. Legacy Aquatics is Melvin. I just shouted out oh, to him. RKL Aquatics, Sup Fishy Family. Okay, Chris, I'm glad you heard about that. So, can I open one of these up? Yes. Please, I love presents. Again, multi tanks addiction. Great guy, uh, and he's always saying very nice things about you, especially. He said he knows genuine people when he sees them, and he's a fan, and we're a big fan of him as well. I went to art school in college, mm -hmm. uh, and whenever I see talented people, yeah. I think about what I should have done or could have done. Yeah. I mean, I have and no I, regrets. I did. Growing up, that was what I channeled all my energy into was art and drawing. And and you was, are very artistic. Um, I am. Yeah, well, I used to be. No, well, <laughs> yeah. My, mom, my father used to say, if you don't use it, you you'll lose take, it. You'll you lose do. It. I don't think I could sit and draw half the things I did back then today. Yeah. Uh, that dog's going to need a bath because he smells fishy. Yeah. All right. So we are get baths tomorrow. <laughs> all right. So we're going to open this up. And I know Chris is like, oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Maybe we'll open up for the other. Oh, you figured it out. Okay. Here it is. <laughs> so I can't even. I think I got an arowana print because, obviously, the arowanas that we keep in the house. And I got another. I'm not sure. I have to look at it. Okay. So. We're gonna start with this one. Look at that. Oh, Check that beautiful. out. Check that out, guys. Where the heck is my camera at? <laughs> this guy is so freaking talented. Chris, thank you so much. That's Look beautiful. at that. I can't wait to get that in the frame. And he autographed it too. That is so sweet. I mean, look at that. That's freaking awesome. Thank you so much. Uh and that, I, I love supporting channels. Yeah. Large or small, but I, I, I certainly want to help, you know, channels that were in my position. I'm still a small channel. I'm still trying to get bigger. But when I certainly see channels that have a lot of potential and, and people with passion, and great hearts, I want to support them, buy their artwork. Yeah. Check this out, Liz. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, shoot. Look at that, guys. That Can you hold on beautiful. to top of that? I mean, look at that artwork. It is fantastic. Gorgeous. I can't. We're going to go get a frame for well, this we tomorrow. Have to. Yeah, this is beautiful. And you said he, he draws his online live. Yes, and it's fantastic. That's beautiful. I wish Chris, I could still do this stuff. Thank you so much. That's Great gorgeous. job. We're going to get this frame. We're going to shout you out. We're going to promote you on every forum and media that we have. Go ahead, sweetheart. Okay. All right, so Jasters Aquariums, Cichlids 23, William Winters, RKL Aquatics, Emily Vandergriff. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what William Winters says. Hey, guys, happy Mother's Day. I raised two Electric Blue Texas. I'm going to have to scroll up. Yeah. And two Oscars together in a 125. Will this work long term and better to skate with territories and site blocks or just open space? Well, first of all, if you know all that, congratulations, because that's half the battle. Uh, I think, what do you say, Electric Texas is? Is that what he said? Uh, and again, I'd have to scroll back up. Let uh, us know what sizes Texas. they are, and I can better, you know, answer that for you. In my opinion, Oscars are not overly aggressive. And neither are Texas. And, well, sometimes Texas can be aggressive. So let me know their sizes, but I think you're well on your way. If you have territories mm -hmm. that breaks up the line of sight, a lot of times that helps. I would not do a tank with no nothing in it because that's just going to be target practice for probably the Texas. I would assume they would be a little more aggressive. Okay, so Jasters Aquarium says, hello, king and queen. First live with y'all. How's you doing tonight? Hey, Jasters. Thank you so much for being online. We appreciate it. 
again, uh, we have to attribute a lot of this to KG Tropicals because I think, you know, the collab we did with yeah. them, the opportunity he gave us opened the doors to a lot more people. So, uh, I mean, I am three subscribers away from 2,300 subscribers. Last week, mm -hmm. I was trying to hit 2,000, basically. <laughs> so I've, right. I've come a long way since that video has been put out. And I do have to apologize, guys, uh, tonight. My speech is a little impaired because I bit the side of my tongue and I keep rebiting it. It's pretty swollen right when now. When did that happen? Yesterday, last night. <laughs> 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 and my eyes have been really inflamed and bothering me. So, of course, I've got my old lady glasses on. So, I apologize. <laughs> I'm looking rough. Okay, AC Dog 2000, King Queen Siblings, I need your help. I just put up a video on your Facebook page. Please take a look and hopefully you can help. We will definitely help. We... That's one of the things I love to do. We help people on a daily basis if they have questions, oh. stuff like that. Can you I okay? find my phone so I can look up the video. Well, honey, you don't have to look at it right oh, now. Okay. He's saying later on, right. I'm not going to do this live. All right. So let's see here. Big D Smoke, the bigger of my two Oscars thought he was a bad and bullied everyone. Until my Jag got bigger. Until my Jag got amen, brother, because then that Jag probably took over. Oh, no. Tangs and tanks. Unfortunately, my butterfly goby did oh. not make it home with us. We ended up staying at a hotel and didn't have a, a plan for him, and he didn't make it till we got home this afternoon. I am so sorry. It feels so terrible. And he's the only one. That everybody else made it but him, and I, I'm, I was gutted. When I'm we not. Got home. I, <laughs> I was gutted. I'm gonna try not to put Liz on the spot, but I had a plan for my fish. They all got here fine. I had a plan. You had a plan for your fish because I. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my god. All my fish got here fine. In fact, my next video is gonna be, and it was suggested by Michael from Michael's Fish Room. My next video is gonna be on how I transported my fish, and we're gonna get into this when we talk about Bus County, from the auction to the hotel yeah. room overnight here and everything I did to get them in a quarantine tank and make sure they're doing great well, and, I, and they're doing great. I had great. a plan for like all my tatras and all my little things that could go together. But I wasn't planning on that, and it's, like I said, that was terrible. Yeah, that was a bummer because that was a really cool fish. Oh, my God. I was so excited. I was so excited. Okay. Fish is biz says everything is everything. That's right. When I was live with, we did a, uh, Pissy Biz did a live feed a few weeks ago, and we were talking about music, new addition right. and stuff. It was a great time. Okay. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, our Uncle Ted is on the Tub Pond Handbook by Dr. Ted Coletti. <laughs> uh, he is on and says, let's see here. He is so honored to be in the court. If he draws a picture, will you finally call on him? <laughs> Listen, we're going to get to that point, and we're, I guess we should get there soon. But we went to Bucks County Aquarium Society, and I am embarrassed to say, folks, that I did a video about the auction do's and don'ts. And I think we broke every freaking rule and in that video. And when he says we, he means Ted Coletti, <laughs> Michael, and yeah. you. And Alan. Don't forget Alan. Oh, my God. There is a lot of people <laughs> causing ruckus oh and loud no. movements in the auction. I was thoroughly embarrassed, but it's good to see my family. Oh. I hadn't seen Ted in a while. What you got? Tangs and tanks. That it, it really it just sucks. I, I I was so looking forward to having him. He just said he was he he was really sweet. He was a bad hunter. Saw him do a a fighter jet barrel roll move and smash a scud. Okay, Emily <laughs> says, Queen Liz, what nano fish do you think has the biggest personality? Oh God. Woo. Um. Well, let's see. None of my tetras have personalities. Bars. You don't. You don't. What, what's that? The rose bars, whatever they call it. Bars. Nope, they don't have any personality. Um, they just swim back and forth. So Bob says, haven't worked up the nerve to move some of my rainbow cichlids into the tank with the 8.5 inch Jack Dempsey, but still the plan. <laughs> yeah, I. That's funny you say that, Bob. I actually and Liz was giving me a hard time about it, but I got two breeding pairs of Jack Dempseys for the grand total of 30 bucks. I thought it was a great deal. My uncle Kevin Carr was bidding on it too. And I got them back to the house in a 110 gallon tank. And I'm so excited about them breeding. As most of you guys know, I've bred a lot of cichlids, but I've never bred 
the Jack Dempsey. What you and got? Rob 93, that's exactly what I was going to say, but I was waiting my turn. The pea puffers that I have are probably the most personable of the nano fish that we keep. You're absolutely good. Rob knows the stuff, man. Absolutely right. All right. <laughs> Fishy biz quiet. We forgot Joe to see Drill Hill, Bill Bev DeVoe. That girl is poison. <laughs> Aaron Hall, Ralph. We talked about Ralph Transvant now because I told you about uh, I love that song, Sensitivity. Right. Uh, Tom, we did not buy a Ted auction shirt. The groupies were all fanned out and getting them signed. And, oh, and you know, the, we, we didn't just didn't get one. The I wish look we on did. Ted's face to have women flocking around him, <laughs> signing his shirt. Oh, he had to call me out and say, Luck, Scott, look at the girl signing my shirt. So, And Dr. Ted, nobody gave us the mermaid and unicorn ornaments. I was actually kind of looking forward to hiding them in a tank each time Scott got <laughs> home, but they didn't come. All right. So you want yeah. to get started on the auction? We can get started on the auction. Let me just see what uh, Chewy said. King Queen Cichlids, some cichlids are underrated in the hobby. Jack Dempsey's are one of the others, and others is the uh, fire mouse. Couldn't agree with you more. The other is the Oscar. I think they're underrated. So, yeah, in this area, though, fire, uh, Thrifty's Miki, they are not under, underrated in this area. They're actually pretty sought after. Our friend Jay, Aquatics, Joe is in the house. What is up, Joseph? 56 watching, 50 likes. Need six more likes, please, if you can. And you do want me to start about the auction? Yeah, we've only got 20, uh, half an hour left. So oh my we gosh. should uh, get on that. I know you have another unboxing you wanted to do. No, there was, that was. Oh, a, we did both of them. Okay. Yeah, both of them were the same print. Gotcha. So, guys, let us know what you think about our new sign live on air. I think that's pretty cool. You want to sit with your daddy? You want to sit over here? That bad kitty cat beat you up. Yeah, yeah I'll buddy. protect you. Yeah. All right. So we shouted out to those channels. Hopefully, the mods put up those links. Definitely give some love to those channels. Right. Fishy Biz Aquatics, uh, Crystals, uh, Pets. Uh, Oh my gosh, I'm going blank. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to my world. <laughs> Q Aquatics, Multi Tanks Addiction. All those, you know, they're doing great. And again, Q Aquatics just did something with uh, KG Tropicals. Definitely check out KG Tropicals channel. Right. He just did 100,000 subscribers, just surpassed that. And uh, he's doing some great things. He's reaching down to some of these smaller channels, and, and I think it's absolutely admirable of him. Rob now, Battis Battis, I love this too. Oh yeah. But we don't have any. I thought she meant what I currently have in the fish room. Okay, so we are going to talk about the Bucks County yep, Aquarium because Society. Because we got people asking what we got. Okay. Uh, every year at this time, Bucks County puts on a incredible oh. auction with thanks to Tom Galuli oh, has like more stuff <laughs> Than I've ever seen. It's like two auctions in one. Some of it good, some of it not. <laughs> and some of it, I was like, my God, we need like two auctioneers in two different areas. Great job to the BCAS team. Great job, Tom. Uh, just they did a fantastic job. Yeah. He said he left there at nine thirty, so I was surprised he, he left that early. So what time did the auction end? I think it was still running when he left. No, it there? wasn't it running. Was, it was after done. That's after everything. clean up and everything. Tom, okay. let us know if I'm wrong about that. So but, yeah, Tom can let you know how many bags and lots were in the auction. I'm not sure about. I I wanted to say at least like 700. 59 washing. Oh my least. God, guys! Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. So Saturday started with you and I getting up at about five in the morning. Yeah. Packing the car up. Yep. Uh, of stuff getting washed, cleaned, all that stuff, obviously. Liz is amazing. Liz is amazing. I, I mean, I wanted to <laughs> say, I should have said this around Mother's Day, but I have, John and I from KG Tropicals were talking about this, about how lucky we are to have these wonderful women in our life. John has Lisa. I have Liz. Liz is a great hobby. It's, it's, it's a blessing enough if you have a girl that allows you to enjoy your hobby. <laughs> this girl is great at the hobby. She loves movies. She loves comic books. She's a perfect fit yeah. for me, so I'm so blessed. Anyway, back to the story. She got everything packed up that we needed for yeah. the auction, which was tubs, battery-powered uh, air pumps, mm -hmm. uh, all sorts Power of stuff, nets, if we needed it. nets, the water conditioner, uh, water conditioner, which was a blessing because when yeah. I was doing my Jack Dempsey's, I was like, oh, my God, we don't have any uh, water conditioner. Green chair, do I need to read this? King Queen, if you ever want the vacancy to Newfoundland. Vacay to Newfoundland. You I, can take your codfish. Newfoundland. Fishing. I could okay, cool. I know what he meant, Newfoundland. Okay. 
All right. So anyway, uh, we left at about seven in the morning and we met up with our buddy Michael from Michael's mm -hmm. Fish Room at about nine five. Yeah. It was about an hour and 45 uh, minute drive for us. But the restaurant. Oh, my God. It was so good. Yeah. You want to talk about the so restaurant? So we stopped at a place called Turning Point, which was 20 minutes from our auction location. And not only did I get caramel and marshmallow <laughs> hot chocolate, I got some frozen hot chocolate. Yeah. And the most amazing French toast with caramel and walnuts. And keep in mind, guys, this is kind of like, and this is what makes her so great. This is kind of like <laughs> a Mother's Day weekend. And a Mother's Day's yeah. weekend included a fish auction. So, how cool is that for me <laughs> to have a girl that's into fish and going to auctions and yeah. as excited as I am? to buy fish. I More couldn't. so, because you drug me out of the auction. <laughs> well, yeah, I did. I can't, listen, guys. I could have sat there all day. Jack. I can't. Jack. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm like active. I got to be doing something. And I'm when I'm just sitting for hours, mm -hmm. that drives me nuts. I'd rather be creating or doing something. So, yeah, I actually left, right. checked us in, yep. came back. You were still there at it. Uh, but I dragged you out of there, what, yeah. about seven? Probably, probably, yeah, around seven. But, um, so they asked what Michael had to eat. Michael also Michael had a very plain French toast with some fruit and a side of bacon. That was it. Which he didn't eat the fruit. He ate all the bacon, yeah. I'm sure. And you But had, actually the bacon was very good. Oh my I god, had, I had a side of bacon too. It was so I had a delicious. bacon skillet which potatoes, eggs, uh, and bacon. It was delicious. That was a great it was called the turning point. Did yeah. we say that? Yes. We I gotta did. shout them I out. Did. So um, thanks to Tom for uh Tell us about it. that, yeah. And then you had um, a skillet, egg skillet plate. Yep, that's what I just said. Did you? I'm <laughs> I just said it with potatoes, girl. eggs, and bacon. <laughs> Get some more of that wine, girl. Woo, and so after our breakfast, which I paid for because just got to put that out there, Michael, just to make him feel guilty when he re when he sees this, he'll he'll pick me up at dinner. He right. he does that. We go back and forth paying for each other. Yeah. Uh, we got to the auction at I want to say ten thirty. And it was already packed. Yeah, we had to sit back in the uncushiony seats, which next year I will be packing cushions for our tushies. Not only that, but we had to try to save seats, which was... For four other people. Which was <laughs> tough because Liz being Liz and Michael being Michael all left. <laughs> And we left all left, and Look. so I'm over there like bogarting. No, don't sit there. No, you don't sit there. You were filming though as well. You were sitting there like people were coming up to you, and you were doing little films with people. And yeah, it's it's nice. So yeah, it's, some of YouTube is cool because you get people that watch your videos and come. Oh, say Sam hi recommended to you. the Turning Point. Yeah, that was amazing. I would go back the next year. We're going back there. It was delicious. Mr. B, French toast made with my own backyard eggs are the best. I gotta try that out sometimes. You know, or cook them up and send them. We, All right. we like to eat. Let's get back to the story right. because it's eight thirty-two. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I saved the seats. Uh, Ted Coletti was there. It was just a great time. Tell them about the fish that we got. Okay. So what? And we I'm going to stop up, you on one of these fish. Go what ahead. What we ended up purchasing is the Jimneo Geophagus Terra, which are absolutely stunning. We got some blue shrimp, which I, that's what I was looking forward to. Harlequin West Boras, Ember, Ember Tetras. I got the Sam um, Scales art piece. Uh, <laughs> I got the Kriegy Tetras. You got an Oreochromis. Take a niece. I got a Butterfly Gobi, which RNP, he didn't make it. You got four Jack Dempsey. A breeding pair of four Jack Dempsey's for 30 bucks. A gift that's going to keep giving because I'm going to be able to Yay. sell those fry and get BAP points. Go ahead. I got some uh, red and black crystal shrimp. They are cool. You got some Anatilia care species. Yes, I did. I got a Lima shovel nose catfish. Okay. Ooh. Let's stop there. Yes, did I you did. just hear what she said? She got a <laughs> shovel nose catfish. A Lima shovel nose catfish. Guess These, where it's gonna go? No, it's not gonna go in there. It's <laughs> this thing. It's right now. It's like four or five inches, and I have it in a fifty-gallon breeder with some other catfish. But this thing gets huge. Again, I just did a video about auctions and what to not do and what to do, and we broke that. I did a video on what fish not to buy. That was in the top two, not to buy. But my wife here buys it and brings it home because it's cute. I, no, we, I knew I knew how big it's gonna get. 
Nobody was buying it. Nobody was bidding on it. We've got tubs. Because they had sense. We have tubs. And I would like to set up <laughs> one of those pools. I have a big blow up pool. I uh, would like to set up. Yeah, you know, you see them. We see Coop and other people do them. I want to do it too. Okay. Anyways, so you guys, back to my list. <laughs> you guys heard it here first. So I also got some Black Emperor Tetra, Tetra and you got some Trimax. So that was the list of what we purchased. Yeah, the Trimax I got, I actually was supposed to be six, but one of them died in the bag. It was like that when I got it. So I uh -huh. have those. What? Thank you, YouTubers and people watching. The Limas don't get as big as the Tigers. They stay around. The, they don't get as to 18 eight, they to do 20 not inches. They get to 18 to 20 inches. Okay. So Big D smoke, I hope you're right. We'll see. And uh, that's what wives do. Happy wife, happy life. Big Amen. Fish. Amen. And listen, I'm not. Oh, I know you did, Ange. <laughs> I'm not mad. I mean, I'm I'm so happy that I have the love of my life, my best friend, who's into fish and buying stuff. Uh, and on top of that, get this: uh, she paid for everything. All of it. She paid for me. it all. So what, I was what? like, <laughs> I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. So uh, obviously, I took her out for Mother's Day dinner. And then I bought oh her some. Oh my gosh, yes. He let me, I got two drinks, y'all. And I passed <laughs> out. She was not out. I was so and tired. And then I got her a bracelet and a very nice ring. Yep. Bling, bling. Bling, blinging. So, uh, but yeah, she deserves, she's the very best in the world. Okay. So I have some questions from Dr. Ted. Oh, uh, God. So we'll run through these really quick. There's only five of them. Do, 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 do. So, number one. Hold on. Don Gallagher, my wife enjoys the hobby with me also. It's so cool. Our local aquarium society meeting auction is next week, and we can't wait. Dry wash aquarium, aquarium society. society. That'll too. be awesome. That's It's so great to have a partner that's in the hobby with you. Yeah. I'm missing something because rounded, rounded Rob said cotton candy ice cream. Sounds good. I'm in whatever it is y'all are talking about. <laughs> All right, question one from Dr. Ted Coletti. What if I don't want to answer it? What does King Scott have against styrofoam boxes <laughs> or perhaps guppies? <laughs> <laughs> 57 Damn on, I. 56 likes. Get that like button up. All right. Listen, guys, this is what happened to me. Michael likes to crowd me. He likes to be around me. Now, and by that, you mean... He's got just like he's, you. He's it's, it's it's very it's very overwhelming. Both of you on each side of me. I had to go to the bathroom. All right, and as of a man of older age, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Now I nicely <laughs> said, "Damn it, Mike, move that box it, out Mike. of out of that out of my way." I got to go to the bathroom. Right, and he's over there, my, you know, just talking do -do 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 -do. and not listening. <laughs> he's hearing me, but he's not doing nothing. He's kind of laughing about it. So I'm like, "Mike, move that box. I gotta go to the bathroom." He's he, he just looked at me laughing. So I got up. <laughs> And I put my foot on the box. I wasn't trying to break it. And the whole styrofoam just exploded. There was a loud pop. And the whole auction got quiet for a minute while I kept walking to go to the bathroom. So that's what happened. I don't have anything against styrofoam. So Ange says, when you stepped on the box, it was way loud. <laughs> it really was. I mean, everybody stopped, turned around, and looked at us. I didn't do it. So question two. Why did I notice how parched Queen Elizabeth looked and fetch tray bottled water why King Scott didn't? Chivalry <laughs> is not dead. Thank you, Dr. Ted. Well, first of all, all Liz has to do is ask, and she gets it. She knows that. Obviously. And if I was going to get her water, I would have put a lemon in it because I know what she really likes, Ted. And if you knew her as well as I did, you would know that bottle should have had some lemon I with it. I do like a fresh lemon in my water. <laughs> all right. So question three. With fanboys. Hold on, hold on. Like we got people watching. I know, too. I was checking it. Legacy Aquatics, Melvin. I hope to find someone like that into fish keeping comic books, video games, loves wrestling. Well, I like you to will... wrestle, but I don't like them video <laughs> games. She you will find her, Melvin. Trust me, you will find her. Tom Glooley says, So that was the noise. <laughs> yeah, it sure was. Big D smokes. I have two pit bulls. I don't know what personal space is anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Shit are the same way. Yeah. So number three is with fanboys Alan Rollins, Michael Skernick, and myself by King for King Scott. 
vying, vying for King Scott's attention was Queen Elizabeth jealous or just amused? That question is for you. I was very amused. <laughs> As I always am when all his little boyfriends come around. You okay? So, yeah. As long as it's always not girls, amused. she's I, okay. I will wreck a... <laughs> Watch your mouth. Yay, real quick. <laughs> She ain't got Next. nothing to worry about. Hold on. Let's see what else is going on. The talk to funk. Denny's fish tank. Someone is getting thrown under the bus bad. You got that right. <laughs> Look, Aquafunk says big D word. <laughs> I am a fishy sugar mama. Fish biz aquatic. King, she paid for everything. Fishy sugar mama on deck. Yes, she did. It was the first time in five years she's paid for anything. That was time. <laughs> <laughs> Every five years is good. She was trying to show up and make him look like, bad in front of everybody. Money, money, I was like, baby, you need some cash. I got this I got baby. This I got this baby. <laughs> Whatever. Go ahead, girl. Question four. Regarding King Scott's video rants on how to behave at an auction, I have three words. <laughs> Physician, heal thyself. <laughs> Listen, that auction got out of control because of Ted okay. Coletti. So not only were we out of control, I wasn't out of control. You. Oh yes, you were. I was not, Girl. except for the styrofoam incident. I was very quiet. <laughs> Anybody else thinks he lies? I was as quiet as I could be. I mean, <laughs> that's my point. That is my point. I mean, people, people come up and you know. His Highness has a very larger than life personality. I do not, and it attracts all the boys. His milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> Whatever. Was there a question in that? That was the question. He was just saying that yes. we would follow the video, which is basically so, what I've been saying. Question five: How annoyed were all the bidders around us due to our antics, or was it just me being annoying? Who cares? I'm on a shirt. <laughs> okay. Again, we got a question here. Chewy would not recommend putting the lima up. Uh, Catfish after what I saw at Three Foot Arowana eating recently on YouTube. Oh channel. no, it's not going in now. Not for a couple of years. So Petsico, uh, okay, so Liz bought fish. Was this was this her money as well? It actually was her money, believe yeah. it or not. And we do have some joint money here and there. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I have a credit card he pays for. Yep, that's true. And I pay for the bills, all the bills in the house. Except, except for, for the insurance. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> but everything else I take Girl's care of. Girl's got to be covered. <laughs> uh, <you know. laughs> all right. So question Listen, whoa, whoa, whoa. Tangs and uh, tanks. Scott was very well behaved. Not the guppy guy, though. Thank you. I knew I had some nice. in there. <laughs> Last question from Dr. Ted. Thank God. Most ridiculous item at the BCS auction beside the road crew and hazard vests the runners had to wear. What do you think the most ridiculous item in that auction was? Definitely that, that shirt that they were wearing was ridiculous. Are besides you talking about? the shirts and um, the vests that th they were wearing. Well, I don't want to say ridiculous, but I thought that uh, that tank, what was it, that tank that had all this different, like a shoe in it, and it had... <laughs> the Kevin powder. Carr special from yeah. Jersey. That it had was like a, foot powder in there and stuff. It had a pair of shoes, foot powder. Uh, it had a picture of Kevin on the side auctioning. Yeah. Um, it was all a Kevin Carr special. All right. So you guys, Ted Colletti is not a YouTuber. If you're not in the Northeast area, you might not know him. But he's a Dr. Ted Colletti. He has yep. his own book yep. about keep ponds. And, it's uh, called the Tub Pond Handbook. You can get it on uh, Amazon and all that is. It's really great. So if you ever want to consider doing summer tubbing, or anything like that. Want to know more about growing your flowers? And it, you just have to, you have to get it. You yeah. Do. Not only that, Thomas of America. Tom, Tom. Excuse me. Ted is a humanitarian. He keeps up with the history of the aquatic hobby. Yeah. He's a um, historian, historian, not a humanitarian. He's a humanitarian too. Okay. And he is just an incredible guy. He actually used to be a comedian. He does. He does talks all over the place. And they're always comical, always inform informative. Just mm -hmm. a great all-around guy. I feel very blessed to have met him. He's another one of Scotty's boys. Well, he's a great guy. Yeah. I mean, seriously, uh, that guy is amazing. All so. right, so Shelby Ray Lane, how you Scott and Liz? Can't stay. Still have company. Just wanted to stop by. Wish you well. Love the sign. Thank you, Shelby, so much. Thank you for stopping by. All right, we got up to 59 likes Some. But what some butthead gave me a thumbs down. I don't care. Haters. Haters <laughs> gotta hate. Uh all right. You have to know Kevin to understand that tank. <laughs> yeah, well, I, we know Kevin. And actually, <laughs> I wanted to bid on the tank till it went like over five dollars. And then I was like, I'm out. <laughs>
Dave Wynn said, you tell him, Liz. <laughs> oh, God. Jack Perry, what a beautiful wife. You're correct. I have a beautiful, beautiful wife. That's me. Inside and out. Uh -huh. All right, so you're done with those questions. I'm done with those questions. You can hit your next point. I don't even know if I have any more points. <laughs> <laughs> so now Tom did say the auction ran from 1130 Saturday morning till 830 Saturday night. There was over a thousand lots in the auction. It was incredible. So. And that's why it's good to have it on Saturday <sighs> and not a Sunday. Yeah, so what we ended up doing was we got a hotel room and we spent the night because, <laughs> yeah, a lot of that happened that <laughs> night too. But, yeah, because it's nice to be able to go. It was two hours away. We haven't spent any real time without the dogs, without the sons. So it was nice to yeah. get away. And, and not stay at a convention hotel yeah. where everybody's like, hey, you want to come out and party? Yeah, yeah. It and was, we're like, no, no, no. We just no, want to be alone. It was nice that we got some alone time. Yeah. I had to drag you out to do that, though. Ugh. Well, so it, Big D Smoke, funny thing is hitting the thumbs down button is the same as hitting thumbs up. So joke's on him. Amen, brother. Either way, it, it helps me on my hey. channel. Well, all right. I'm going to start thumbs down at everybody. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. So... All right, you have 15 minutes left. What topic do you want to hit? I want to talk about Games of Thrones. Is everyone still watching that? We're down to two episodes. Games of Thrones is down to two episodes. It's going to start in 15 minutes, guys. So, so what are maybe your thoughts? Last week's episode was pretty sorry. You didn't like that like, episode? After the, oh, my God, of the previous episode, mm -hmm. I was a little underwhelmed by last week's episode, and I'm hoping to be brought back up. Well, there's this, only two episodes, episodes left. So I know. So there's, there's <laughs> only pray. one way, but up. So. I, I pray. So, so Aquafunk says, Liz, I did a live stream one time where I encouraged everyone to give me a thumbs down. It was awesome. <laughs> he also had that video. I don't think I can take that much hate. He also had that live chat where everything, he said everything wrong. Like everything you asked him, he would say the opposite of it. It was nuts. <laughs> it was just nuts. What did Crystal Pet say? One day I would love to have a fresh mm. brackish and salt water fish tank. That's my goal. You can do it, girl. If you, you can keep you can. all that other stuff that you keep, yeah. that will be easy for you. And I, I I like brackish tanks, but I have no interest in salt other than I like to look at it. They're beautiful. But the amount of time that goes into those, I just I don't have it to give. Chris from Multi Tank Addiction, waiting to watch it until we are done here. That's why we yep. start at 8 and stop at 9 on the dot because I am a huge GOT fan. All right. So why did old girl? Why didn't old girl just push Cersei off the damn castle? I agree. I agree too. So well, I mean, the mountain was standing right behind her. I'm sure she would have lost her head before she got close to Cersei. <laughs> I don't know. What does that say? Denny's right. Grab her and jump. <laughs> All right. So I don't know. I was very sad by that because uh, Grey Worm is not gonna have his love. He already doesn't have his man parts now. He's not gonna have the love of his life. Yeah, that's gonna be it's tough. sad. I I think he's going to be. He's gonna give some vengeance out oh, there. It's yeah. going to be fun to watch. So I don't know what other events are coming mm. up. I know the L A L A the live bear yeah. uh, the thing is happening in a few weeks. Then and I don't know if Tom knows the dates on that. Uh, I know the American Sickle Association is coming up in July. Right. And then we have uh, September. We have the Keystone Clash. Again, don't forget the Keystone Clash, September. Don't know the exact dates, but Joey, DIY Joey, and Rachel are going to be there. Yep. And then my personal favorites, Dr. Paul Lazell and Rusty Wessel are going to be there along with some other people. Definitely Keystone, KeystoneClash.com. Check them out. Get registered. It's going to be a great event. We're going to be there. It's a huge, it's one of the biggest tropical fish shows ever. So if you're into or if you've never, you know, shown fish, this is your opportunity to try it. Yeah. So and also if you're in this area, guys, the 25th of May, uh, that fish place, that pet place in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, is doing a um, freshwater, freshwater swap. swap. But Aquion Filters is also going to be there giving away free filters. What you do is you bring in a broken filter that is not Aquion. And you take it and say, uh, you know, give it to them. They're going to give you an Aquion to try, and they're going to take your old busted filter that you're not using anyways. It's a really cool deal. Yeah. I, we did that two years ago. Mm -hmm. I think we took a canister filter. We might have talked about this before. Yeah. But we took a canister filter, and they gave us two filters for that. 
uh, we ended up with like a car load of filters that we brought that were used. Now keep in mind it's one per person. So if you want to bring the whole family out and give each one of them a filter, I mean, more power to you, but they will run out. So get there early. Yeah. So you definitely want to come. If, uh, what is it? May 25th. <gasps> Michael's here. Michael made it. Hey, oh, Michael. Hey, girl. You got to hit the rewind button. We were talking mad stuff about you. So Michael wants to know you. how many you can trade in. And like I said, one per person. But a little secret I will tell you is we took a canister filter and they gave us two for the canister filter. I want to talk about Chewy LTT. King it. and Queen Cichlids, the Louisville Tropical Fish Fancier will be the host club of the 2019 American Live Bear Association. In Louisville, Kentucky, May 23rd through the 26th. That's this month. And I will be on vacation in Virginia with my mother. And I think you're going to be in North Carolina visiting your mother. Sure, I will. <laughs> <laughs> or Michael will be sleeping on my side of the bed. I'm not sure which. So there were a few questions for you in here. I don't know if you want to scroll back up, but it is about 10 minutes till. All right. Well, I didn't see them. Uh, how was your uh, Mother's Day, uh, Michael? You go, did the family go out? What happened? Tell me about it. Missed you, man. Listen, Denny says, after all the Game of Thrones is over, you guys need to do a live stream on it. We would be gladly do a live stream on it. We were actually kind of going back and forth because we go to movies on a regular basis. And we were thinking about, and we go to, like, the marketplace – we do yeah. a lot of things outside of the hobby that might be connected to the hobby a little bit. Next weekend's a pet convention that I really want to go yeah, to. Yeah, we I go mean, to wine festivals. We do. Uh, we do a lot of stuff, and we kind of wanted to do more than just aquarium stuff on our channel, but we were recommended not to do that. If we were going to do that, we were going to have to have a separate channel. Right. So what are your thoughts? If we talked about... Other random stuff. Would you guys watch us? Yeah. Or would we <laughs> lose you? Or I mean, what, what's your thoughts? I mean, I mean, obviously we're all into fish and aquariums. Yeah. But you have to have other likes, don't you? So give me your thoughts about that. Okay. So let's see here. Fish keeping Jamaica popped on. Guys, uh, Angela's fish tanks. We had up Ultimate to sixty-five people online. I appreciate that guy on Mother's Day. Uh, so thank you so much. V Stag says, "Do it all on one channel." V Stag, why haven't we? We gotta hook up, buddy. I, I guess the next ACLC meeting's coming up, so maybe we'll see you there, V Stag. Right. So Mike, uh, Mr. V says, "Separate channel." Yeah. And says, and V says, "We shall watch us." Okay, awesome. So I mean, I don't know. Maybe a separate channel for all of our random videos. Maybe something like the Adventures of. King and Queen. Jester's or... Aquarium says, I would tune in as long as it's not Game of Thrones, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> well, there would only be one Game of Thrones one. It's not like we would do each episode because, I mean, obviously it's the end of Game of Thrones. Right. Fish Keeping Jamaica, Raleigh, you're in the house. I haven't forgotten you, brother. I'm going to get those videos together and shoot you some. This, just so you know, I haven't forgot you. There's just been a lot going on. So um, Cich Cichlid Center says the chat might be okay. But on a video, it's bad because it messes with your YouTube algorithm. So we would have to have a separate channel. Okay. Agreed. That sounds good. Chewy LTD says he'd watch. All right. Any final questions before we go? Again, guys, thank you so much for the recent show of support. Uh, I'm three away. I have to check in now. I check again. But I'm three away from right. 2,300 subscribers. And our latest video on the Dovi Cichlid is over 4,300 views. It's got an audience retention of over seven minutes, which is unheard of for me. Normally, our audience audience retention is around five to six minutes. That's probably, that's me too, though. I have a very small retention. And I'll be honest, some some people's channels, I will, you know, I'll hit certain parts and I'll I'll go through it. That's that's just being honest. <laughs> There's certain channels that I religiously watch, like Michael's Aquafunk, Rob, whenever it pops up. And then there's other channels I'll skim through just to get a general feel for it. Right. And then there's some channels I just don't care for, just to be blatantly honest. So Chef Patrick Pepper says Game of Thrones versus Star Wars live chat. Just saying. Joseph has said, thank you for sharing. You will not let me do a super chat. I think I screwed up something when I got set up, Joseph. But thank you for the thought anyway. I did something that says will not be monetized. I think I hit the wrong button or something. But... Catch us next time, brother. <laughs> but I do appreciate the thought. The thought is all that matters. And, you know, we appreciate you, J.H., for sure. Okay. 
Well, ultimate, you have six minutes. Ultimate Fish Keeping Show. It's gone up since the video I watched. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. So uh, does that mean I'm at 2,300? I don't know. Someone let me know. <laughs> I think he means the views for your video. Oh, okay. Justice Aquarian, great stream, guys. Have a good night. King Queen, six night. All oh, looking forward to the next time. We really do appreciate you guys. I mean, 65 people online on a Monday on a, for us. I on mean, a on a Sunday, Sunday but for on us. a holiday, which is a Mother's Day. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. We thank you so much. Um, last parting things maybe I want to talk about. So well, Bob Guppy says Raptors are just leaving the Sixers. Oh, really? Are just leading? Like, what's the score? Dan Slee, we are at 2,303. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, guys. Woo! It's incredible. I, I mean, Funk and I were talking about it. We kind of hit a wall, and I think Funk's at that wall right now. But Funk, stay positive, brother. It's gonna You're going to start back up. I've been there where I was like, I, I, for days I would go without getting a, a single subscriber. Your opportunity's coming, Funk. Stay positive. I love your stuff. Other people love your stuff. Don't change a damn thing. So, anyway... Some of the things that what I got, like five minutes. I want to thank Michael from Michael's Fish Room while he's online mm -hmm. now. This is one of the presents he got me. It is YouTube Secrets, uh, the ultimate guide to growing your following and making money as a video influencer. These are stuff that are priceless to me. I read this stuff. I'm constantly reading. Liz will tell you. What Usually I'm it's on his phone, but I have been caught him reading these in bed if i'm in bed or if, you know i'm hate to say it it's, it's pg-17 if i'm using in the bathroom i will have something in my hand reading the other thing i'm reading is the digital filmmaking handbook this is a great book about how to make your videos better i i just got this back from michael yesterday so i'm gonna start reading this i'm almost done with this book you got to put the work in, guys. Put the work in, and you will reap the rewards of hard work. All right. So Tangs and Tanks says, one last question. Why do you think Michael never grew out of guppies? Now, Michael answered it. What's your answer? Well, I think guppies are great. I think Did every... you do? After that whole no, no, too many guppies. I was just messing with mine. <laughs> I think guppies are cool. Um, I think everyone has something that appeals to them. I like big, aggressive cichlids with personality that's not for everyone michael likes guppies and you know i respect that he does a good job with it and uh yeah and, but right. he also he had oscars that he just gave away to matt hand and yeah, he has a, a flower uh flower, flower horn. horn that's so house of bucket says darius is cussing downstairs at the sixers game <laughs> i gotta get off this feed so i can watch it hopefully they're not too far behind and we are we All are right. Scott Guppies taste cool right Raleigh. now. Um, Mike said he does it because he makes money and breeds plecos. Brand, I know that. Brandon says books without pictures? Question mark. <laughs> Biz, what you know about deep down slip, slap, and tickle? <laughs> I don't know what Funk's talking about. Uh, he's there. talking to somebody else. Okay. All right. Wrap Ultimate it up fish then. keeping show. I see that your friend count has gone up. 22 to 23 that's what i meant oh congratulations thank you very much all right everybody's moving on to game of thrones or the game well it's still 8 57 we got three minutes you guys are leaving me so quick i think they gotta get their snacks and beverages dance lee all right guys well since you're leaving thank you so much for showing up hopefully you like the new live on air uh sign i guess it's time to cut it off since we're going off oh, live boo. we had a tough time figuring out if it would read right to you guys so that was the thing we tested this whole thing out but hopefully you like the little extras that we're adding to our show and hopefully you guys will share us with your friends again consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit that like button on your way out guys love you much stay positive and enjoy this hobby for all it's worth when you have any last words? No, sir. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Let me see how I can cut this thing off. Good luck. Uh oh, sorry, Rico. Oh, no, you're the dog.